For the following exercises, determine the domain and the range of the quadratic functions. Okay, so we have two examples here. And we've done tons of examples with quadratic functions. So if you want to see the before uh, lessons to get more in-depth idea, check out our quadratic function playlist. The link is in the description. But other than that, let's go. This is the first question of, of this set, right? Domain and range in terms of quadratic functions. Now, we should know that a quadratic function looks two ways, right? A quadratic function either is smiling at us, right? Or it's frowning at us. Now, in terms of the domain, and remember the domain is talking about the x axis and the range is talking about the y axis, right? So in terms of the domain, on the x axis, it looks like quadratic functions have numbers going from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. And that's always the case. No matter whether a quadratic is, you know, smiling or frowning at us, it will always be negative infinity to positive infinity. So that's the key thing here. For both of these, since they're quadratics, the domain, and maybe I'll just put it over here, the domain would be all real numbers. So you can say it either as negative infinity, comma infinity, uh, with parentheses. Keep in mind that remember infinity is a theoretical concept, so it doesn't really exist. That's why you have to exclude it. Um, you could also have said this like we're r value. That means all real numbers as well. Just depends on your teacher. So for both of these, the domain is all real numbers. There are no exceptions for any quadratic. Okay, I know that's pretty set in stone, but it really is. The domain is always all real numbers. But now the, the range, the y-axis, right, going up and down, that depends, right? Maybe I can just, you know, bring this a little bit down here just to kind of give you an idea. So here, our function only touches like this part of the graph, right? You see how it has a minimum value all the way down here? And what about for this one? The graph only touches this part, right? And it looks like it has a maximum value. So we've talked about maximums and minimums in the previous examples, but just know that for, gro uh, for quadratics that are smiling, you'll always have a minimum. So that's the minimum number, and you could always go up. And for graphs that are frowning, you'll have a maximum, and they will be, um, that's the highest you could basically go. So let's write that down. For the range, you have two possibilities. You could either have, and you know what, I'm going to erase this. So either pause the video if you want to jot it down, but it's got to go bye-bye. <laughs> And I guess I'll just get rid of this one as well. Okay, so for the range, remember, you have two options, right? It depends on if your uh, graph has a maximum value or a minimum value. Minimum value. And from previous examples, we know that the max value and the min value is technically the k value. So your range is basically coming from your k. And remember the, the vertex is the k value, right? The y of the, of the vertex. Um, so if you have a max value, remember that's the k value that is the max, 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 max. So I know that that has to be on the right hand side. The k has to be on the right hand side and I can go all the way to negative infinity. I have to bracket that off, right? Because if this is the max value, I can't go anything above that. I can't go to infinity, right? And then the opposite is true for the other one. If your k value is a min value, that's where you start. So I have a k 
and then I can go all the way to infinity with a parenthesis. And keep in mind, you have a parenthesis and a bracket, and then a bracket and a parenthesis. So there you go. Just know that this is always the range idea for quadratics. Now we just got to find that k value. Well, here they give me, it looks like they, they give me the standard form, right? And remember the standard form is f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k. So it looks like for this one, I have a k of, it's right here, right? The k is all the way at the end. So I have a k value of two. Now, I just need to know whether I'm gonna put that two over here or am I gonna put the two over here? The max value is when you're frowning, right? Because when you're frowning, your max is all the way up here, right? You can only go down. So the max value is a frowny face. That is when your A value is negative. And we talked about that in many different of our examples here. So always match those up. The minimum value is when you're smiling. Your vertex is at the lowest of the low. So a minimum value is a smile graph. So I'll say smiley, and that's when your A is positive. If you're smiling, you're positive, happy, right? So let's just look at this graph and see what our A value is. The A value on the standard form is the one in the front, but I don't see any number here. So what number does that really represent? There's a one here. So I know that I have an A of one and it's a positive. So I have a minimum value. So all these type of concepts are coming together. So my range would be following the minimum idea. This would be bracket two comma infinity. And that's it for this one. So your domain is all real values and your range would be starting at two and you're going all the way to infinity. Now let's just quickly do this one. We already figured out the domain is all real values because that's always for a quadratic, but now let's do the range. Well, do I have a max or a min? Do I have a frowny or a smiley, right? If we follow the standard form and this is the standard form, right? Standard form, our K value is a negative six, okay? So I'm, I'm getting there, right? K is negative six, but I don't know whether to put the negative six at the end or at the beginning. That comes from knowing your A value and the A value is the one in the front. In this case, they told us that I had an A of negative two. This negative two, since it's a negative, I know that my quadratic is a frowny which means that I will have a max value. This is the highest you can get. So I follow this idea. My range would be from negative infinity all the way to that max value of negative six. And then we got a bracket because you actually include it. And there you go. These are your two um, answers. Your domain is all real numbers and the value would be negative infinity all the way to negative six because um, it's a max value and that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Um, click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want. Um, I love helping you guys and math is fun. So let's keep going, all right? See you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.